Howdy, Redesert Boy here. Hey, I just wanted to take a few moments to, you know, give a little love to uh, the revolvers and lever actions. I feel like I've been kind of looking at a lot of semi-autos and different things. And I could do comparison revolver with double action uh, LCR with the uh, Smith & Wesson Shield Plus and so forth. But I just wanted to reassure everybody, I still love these lever actions and even my single action here. And um, just want to take a few moments here to talk about this holster that I got for it. And just to remind folks that the, you know, the 45 Colt is a really nice round. Now I know I almost probably not as easy to find, but you will run across it from time to time. Um, you know, I have some different ammos out here that I've used, but, um, uh, in various shape, but you can see this is a formidable sized bullet here um, in these different grains. Generally, they're right around the 200, and, I believe it's 255 grain or 250 grain is usually a pretty normal for these. Uh, if you get into hunting rounds where they're, um, you know, hard cast, a lot of times they'll be like 265, they can even be over 300 grains. And then some of these uh, FTX kind of bullets, they can be like 225. Once again, you know, need to make sure that, uh, you know, these are just my thoughts and opinions as a hobbyist and what works for me. You need to do your own research and check things out. You know, you always want to talk to your, you know, firearms manufacturer and your, and your uh, you know, ammo manufacturer. Make sure it's appropriate uh, for your weapon and, the, you know, the, the ammo and the weapon. Uh, especially when it comes to all these uh, older looking guns. Now these are modern weapons. That's a Rossi 45 Long Colt, which I've had, uh, I have videos of, and I dearly love that gun. It's a very light carbine. Um, I enjoy shooting it. Um, and the 45 Colt with the iron sights, it's very accurate for me. Um, and then this one here is what's known as the Ruger uh, Turnbull Bisley Blackhawk. It's one of 500. It's got rosewood grips. It's 12 inches overall length, 46 ounces. So it's a handful. It's six shots and it's single action. And it's got a five and a half inch barrel. So my thing is sometimes trying to find things like holsters, you know. And of course, if you wanted a scabbard for something like this lever action, usually there's some around, sometimes you have to get them made, same with the holsters, but I was, and as you can see, it can come in a special case, the Ruger did, it's got this one of 500 case with a little sticker and different things. Um, but I finally found a holster. Now this is a Galco single action, I'm thinking that the SA0148 stands for holster. It is a little longer than probably the barrel length, but that's okay with me because it might allow accommodation for other revolvers. Before we go any farther, let me just reassure everybody, all the arm, all the firearms have been checked uh, safe and that they are unloaded. Uh, the Rossi has, as has the Ruger uh, Blackhawk. So let's just see how this fits into this holster. Cause I was really pleased to finally find a uh, a holster for this and of course if you haven't seen this this has this nice color cased hardened turn uh, finish by Doug Turnbull and uh, it's a uh, very kind of Western looking some people would say it's not quite as authentic because it has adjustable sights you know so some people might not uh, like that part of it but for me it works well as you can see there there we go We've got a holster here that I find works for me, and I was so thrilled to finally find a nice leather holster for it. I had I had used an Uncle Mike's in the meantime, which is fine, you know, if you, if it's if it will handle the weight of the gun. This is kind of a heavy gun, but I just wanted to you know show you this holster here because I've had a hard time finding one for it. Maybe maybe you're having a hard time finding one for your uh, single action revolver, and this seemed to work well for me. So that was one of the main points of it. And just to remind people, you know, 45 Colt's a great round. And uh, if you are uh, if you do uh, your own lo hand loading and things like that, which most people that have a caliber like this oftentimes um, to 
decide to pursue that because the ammunition can be expensive. Plus you can, um, you can adjust it to how you like to shoot. A lot of people do cowboy action shooting with these, so they want lighter loads. Some people want them to be able to do certain kinds of hunting within the SAMI specs of whatever the, the weapon is rated for. And so they like to do their loading according to that. So anyway, I just wanted to once again share with you, you know, I really do enjoy these uh, revolvers and the lever actions and the 45 Colt uh, caliber. And uh, just wanted to take that time today to share that with you. And to show you that yes, if you if you keep looking, you'll eventually find the holster. And I originally did the video on this. I think I mentioned that I waited a year and a half to buy this. I kept going into the shop and saying, well, if it's there, you know, maybe it's you know maybe it's meant to be. And finally that day came, and I did go ahead and make that purchase. This one, this rifle here, was actually half the amount of of this, just about half. So. Sometimes um, you might find uh, a, another value type thing that works for you if you want to get into a caliber, but make sure that you're, you're getting the quality that you need and that it's for the reasons why that uh, whatever you're going to do with it. You know, some people like to hunt with these. Uh, there's uh, some folks that have written books about handgun hunting and they actually use this particular revolver for their handgun hunting. So I'm not a hunter. So you need to read up on those people, but uh, just look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that together with that, uh, that Rossi. Isn't that a nice combination? Makes me want to go get my Stetson and put it on and, and be a little more authentic about, you know, my roots in Arizona and Nevada. So anyway, as Reed Ezra Boy always says, be safe out there, whatever you're doing. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye now.